I'm letting you die, baby. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. Now, this is a very interesting game, but let's just get right into it, and the narrator will actually narrate everything we do. Or will he? This is the story of a man named Stanley. It's about time this started. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number number 4227. Stop glitching. Employee number 4227's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a through his point desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push the button, and in what order. This is what this is employee 427 did every day, a, every month of the Stanley relished every moment that the old is on his head, as though he had been made exactly for this job. I'm sorry for the was happy. that it keeps repeating stuff. And then one day something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow but no one had showed up to give him instructions call a meeting or even see why never in all his years at the company had this happened this complete isolation something was very clearly wrong shocked frozen solid stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time but as he came to his wits and regained his senses he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't usually repeat like that, but I think it's just because I'm... Uh, recording. But All everything seems fine now. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, let's go this way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But... But... No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Can I read that? Yes, no, there's no way I can read really, that. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yes. Are you going to say anything else? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Hey, stop hating on me. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Fine, you broke the fourth wall, let's get out of here. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room, and 
and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. No! Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift when in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off, $5,000. I'm going to be dead if I jumped off. What are all those boxes? Where the heck do I even work? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing No, I want, I want the open door. Really? Do you have zero consideration for Danger, others? danger I everywhere. That I want something bad to happen to you? What? Yes. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, no, you don't. Prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. No, nope, I'm gonna do blue. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Blue! I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. What about this door? What? Ah! All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Sorry, but narrator. It was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Oh, yes. Give me a new there game. We go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. What if I go in the other doors? Ah, eh, maybe I'll do that another time. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Five Feel out of five. To be honest, I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! Uh -huh. You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that it, I felt it in my soul. Somebody's messaging me. Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Hmm. Perfectly candid. I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Yes. I like the orange walls. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard oh. helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I must have walked right past it, so I'm going to put a one. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. And now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh boy, another loading screen. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be I don't sure want to play for four hours. 
No, baby, no! No, baby, no! No! No, 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 no! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Do I really have to play this for four hours? I'm letting you die, baby. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Aww. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Yeah. The pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Is it gonna be a game that I've already played? Maybe? It is! Is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stan. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Good job. <laughs> oh, right here. If this is, if this Minecraft is laggy, then Minecraft just hates my computer. Does it need I yes, of course. And just to finish it all off. A door. Yes, it's complete. That's an ugly house. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Yes. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Okay, we are gonna put the kitchen over here, and the bathroom here, and the enchanting right there. Good. Now let's go find diamond without a pickaxe, because, you know, it works like that. Okay, I thought... Okay, it's not actual... It's not the actual Minecraft music. I thought it was. But it is very close... To it. Why? It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. You brought a light? No. Coal! I can just touch it. More coal. Mushrooms! Why can't I grab anything? It's so dark in here. You probably can't see it. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. There were spiders. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. I know what this game is. I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. This is Portal! That is a game that I need to play. But... I don't have it on my computer yet, so I can't record it. But I have it on the PlayStation. Hmm. That's right, I play the PlayStation. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're Hello. 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 H
Hello. Genius. Genius. We're gonna go on to the next level. I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for... Goodbye. I almost feel like I'm in the portal game just because it's all destroyed here. Can I go in here? Ah! I can't see anything! Here we go. What room is this? Hey, it's the two doors. Mr. Narrator, I miss you. Where am I supposed to go? Probably this way. Oh my head. Phones. Yes, go to the light. Turn off. Or not. Where am I supposed to go? soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. But the end is never the end. I can wait. It's just a video game. See, the end is never the end. It's 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 never the end. Did I just restart? I think so. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Yeah. He decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well. That was the Stanley Parable for you guys. If you enjoyed this, let me down, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do a different ending. I'm not sure what I'm gonna title this ending. I might just look up the actual ending name for it, or whatever. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this a big thumbs up because I'm a pathetic YouTuber. Just kidding. Anyway. You'll be here.